Hi, frolicking friends! It's time for another video with our pixelated friends. Whether you're a longtime companion or a brand new addition to our merry band, I'm thrilled to have you here. So get comfy and let's settle in and enjoy a brand new episode of my Sims in Bloom challenge. If you remember our last episode, things got a little crazy because Daisy Mae found out that her sort of potential love interest crush was actually her half brother. Um, her father is his father and that was confirmed by her mother. So yeah, she had to put an end to that sort of romantic relationship. So that was a bit awkward. So today our goal is to find Daisy Mae a proper suitor um, that she is not related to. So my plan, as I kind of mentioned in the last episode, is to go ahead and create a club where we invite some fellow Sims who have the uh, loves the outdoors trait. And I have downloaded some plants, <laughs> which is kind of funny because they are green, but I asked some friends on my Berry Discord server to make me some green Sims that could be potential spouses for Daisy May, or at the very least, just some friends. So a huge shout out and thanks to Saint of the Arts, Dragon Plum Bobs, and Vampire Simmer for their lovely additions. All right, so I've created a club for Daisy May. We called it the uh, Bloom and Bunch, which is of course a play on like Sims and Bloom challenge. And since Daisy May is going to be getting into um, making nectar that deals with bunches of grapes. Um, so it's a collective for anyone who enjoys the great outdoors. So I added our three green plants, clover, ivy, and sage. Um, I had Paisley join as well. And then our sixth member is a Knox Greenberg. So activities are, um, they can do yoga, they can care for animals, fall activities, cause it is fall, tend garden and go hiking. And then things that are not allowed are browsing the web. So I feel like anything kind of electronic, like stay off your phones, we're enjoying the outdoors. Um, don't be mean to anyone and don't fight with anyone. And then to ensure we only have people who love the outdoors, we have that as a requirement to join. Oh, we need a icon. So Bloomin' Outdoors, I feel like this is the um, correct icon, yay! So let's go ahead and start a gathering and meet everyone. <laughs> Talking to our plant. Um, so I'm just gonna get her to harvest everything and then of course we'll meet the new club members. I feel like this is cheating. They're doing my gardening for me. So this is Sage. We're meeting them, asking about their day. And this is Clever Clover Meadow Dreams. We're also asking her about her day. And then we have one more, well, two more new members, but one other, you know, potential uh, romantic interest. So let's go ahead, ask Ivy Locke about her day. Look at all these cute Sims. How's everyone's day going? Thanks for coming out to the first official meeting of the Bloomin' Bunch. So let's also meet Knox, not to exclude him. Um, we can ask him about his day as well. Paisley's <laughs> playing with her goat over here. Um, all of the goats over from their little ranch just like to hang out over here on my extension of the ranch, so it's a little awkward. Oh, this is great. All right, and since this is really kind of a, <laughs> not a ruse, but my, you know, ulterior motives is to find her partner. Let's have her scope the, her surroundings and see if she's attracted to anyone. Oh my goodness, she's like attracted to everyone. <laughs> well, um, that's great. We are attracted to all of them. Um, <laughs> let's check out the relationship panel and see if she's more attracted to anyone else. Okay, she's perceived as attractive. Ivy is clover, perceived as attractive, and sage, perceived as very attractive. Okay, so it looks like so far sage is in the lead. Um, but we'll still get to know everyone. I'm not making any final decisions. So it looks like she's telling some jokes to everyone. So that's good. 
Um, let's talk about the club, see if anyone has any ideas about what we want to spend some time doing. Tell a jokes about a horse, of course. Maybe discuss interests. Aw, oh, Daisy May, a bellflower just keeps making Bloomin' Bunch better and better. Such a kind compliment. <laughs> I like how these guys are all just talking and Paisley's over here just giving the goats love. <laughs> I feel like she's feeling overwhelmed or maybe she's just trying to give Daisy May space to make some new friends. Or maybe she just feels awkward because she was like asking Daisy May, who turns out to be her stepsister, on a date. <laughs> Oh, flirting is showing up. I guess maybe I should have added nectar making to the list of activities. Because, like, gardening, once it's done, we can't really do more. And I don't really know how to access hiking, you know, because I was thinking, like, we could hike on the trails here. But I think that's really like riding a horse, which I don't think everyone has access to a horse to be able to ride. Oh, I think the goat was just attacking Knox. Um, I guess we're just making apple nectar because that's all we have the ingredients for. Let her go smash some grapes with her toesies. She's so cute when she's making nectar. Oh, and there's the great fall. <laughs> hey, she likes nectar making. Yes, absolutely. That is a great idea. Okay. I think we've been getting some club points from, I guess maybe people chatting. I'm not 100% sure. Cool. I think we'll save our points for a little bit, but definitely something to keep an eye on. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the club gathering for now, um, just because, you know, I want her to be able to maybe go take up some community jobs and make some money, because we are broke after we fixed up the home a little bit. Oh, good job, Chicory. So, you know, instead of saying goodbye to our new friends, we're just talking to our plant. But let's go ahead and see about getting a community job. Let's do a guided afternoon trail. All right, we made 285 from that, which is great. How's Chicory doing? Pretty good. Oh, he is sad. Why are you sad? Oh, and I think we caught him mid poop. <laughs> um, I feel like let's ask him what's wrong. Maybe try cheering him up. Why are you so sad, Chicory? Um, I feel like we should work on his skills. I don't know how to look at like what his current skills are. So I'm just gonna get <laughs> Daisy and Chicory to practice jumping. Um, that didn't go very well the first time around, but that's okay. We haven't really done much practice with jumping. Oh, do we have to fix it? We do. Did she have to get off the horse to fix it? Oh, nope, that's good. Okay. Now let's try practicing again. You got this, Chicory. Lift those legs just a little more. Nice, good job. So I think I'm gonna see if I can get Daisy May to invite well, maybe we can't do that. I really wanna send her to Hemford on Bagley. So maybe I'll go there first and see if I can invite maybe Sage or make a club gathering there. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's invite Sage with us to Hemford. All right, let's, you know, <laughs> I guess tell a knock-knock joke and maybe tell a joke about horses of courses. <laughs> And then my real plan is I want to try and sell some of my produce to hopefully make some more money. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we, let's, I don't know which one would be better. Maybe this one, see if we can haggle. I learned from last time that it's better to haggle first because you actually make more money when you're selling items too, not only a discount for buying. Kind of looks like she said no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's try over here. And, oh, we, I guess we can't. She's too embarrassed. Well, I guess we'll just have to do with what we have. Wow, so after selling off some excess stuff, we made almost $1,400. That is amazing, Daisy Mae. All right, <laughs> let's see if we can buy some more like apples and stuff for our, our current level. We can't use a lot of the fruits we have, but let's, oh, I guess she only has two apples, but we'll take them. We'll take the grapes that she has. Those seem so expensive. Uh, strawberry. 
Okay, let's go next door and see if there's any other produce we can buy for our nectar. So basically, we are uh, <laughs> spending almost as much money as we made. Not quite, but not great. All right, so where's Sage? Now that we've neglected our friend. So it honestly looks like they left because we can invite them to hang out again. So I guess we'll just go home. So we're back home and I'm noticing that a lot of our plants are out of season. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, we can place them in the inventory. Is that cheating? <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. But we need to plant some fall plants. So, all right, so let's go ahead and come plant some raspberries and some grapes because those are both in season for the fall so that's perfect and i feel like those would be good fruits to have on hand for her nectar looks like chicory is coming and helping us what a sweet little horse oh august would like to come over and hang out i feel like we're just kind of busy but i guess he can hang out you just might not have a ton of time for him that's good he's you know not completely avoiding us given everything that happened <laughs> that goat screaming. Um, let's ask him about his day, see how he's been, what he's been up to. So we have <laughs> amazing compatibility with all of the uh, green plants there. Um, oh, humor and hijinks festival. I wonder if anyone will invite us out to that. That would be perfect. Cause I kind of don't want to control it too much. Like we have three potentials and we'll see, you know, what comes of that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her. Oh, they're so expensive, these grapes. Never mind, we'll do apples. We'll craft some apple nectar because we have apples on hand. Oh, Paisley's the one inviting us out. Okay, I'm sorry, Paisley. I'm not trying to ignore you, but you know, I can't exactly date you and <laughs> I'd kind of rather try to work on some money and some skills than go to the humor and hijinks festival with you. Does that make me a terrible friend? Maybe. Oh yeah, I think our bills are also due. And eco-friendly appliances. Oh no, I don't want that. I forgot to vote. So it's the next morning and I feel like we should go ahead and invest in a um, yoga mat for Daisy May. Um, no, she's supposed to do it like in the shade of the fruit trees. So maybe over here, <laughs> we don't have a lot of space. We definitely need to kind of clean up the yard a little bit. So that might be something that we work on um, here soon. Let me just see what that one looks like. Cause obviously I want a yellowish mat for her. Oh yeah, I guess for now we'll put it like here. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and get her to practice some yoga. Here on this cute fall morning, <laughs> looks like Chicory is practicing his yoga too, using his little yoga ball. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute. Working her body, stretching. I love that for you, Daisy Mae. <laughs> Looks like she's practicing some goat yoga. That's so cute. Friendly little goat yoga. I know for this challenge, I would love for her to open some sort of like a spa or something like that. So having goat yoga would be uh, super cute. Um, have like some goats around, some yoga uh, mats and stuff. That would be very cute. Hey, I think she's finally figuring out what she likes post-accident. So yes, you do like wellness. That is awesome. Okay, we really need to go pay our bills because I keep forgetting to pay them. Luckily, it's only 109. Oh boy, we have a angry werewolf around our house. Oh, it looks like our mom just showed up. Although maybe she's leaving. I can't tell if she's leaving or if she's just walking over. Oh, don't steal my flowers. I can't believe you, mother. That's one way that I make money. <laughs> but I suppose we could say hi, invite her in and see, see what's up, see why she's come over to see us. Didn't expect to see you here so soon, mother. Let's go inside and get out of this rain. Let's go ahead and ask her about her day. 
see what's up. Oh, she's uncomfortable. Probably because she was just getting rained on would be my assumption. Let's enthuse about the outdoors. Like, isn't the rain just so refreshing? Meanwhile, her mom's like, yeah, no. I can't believe you had me waiting outside in the rain for so long. Looks like closer from happy memories and growing closer from quality time. It's nice that her mom came by to check up on her. That was very sweet. Although I feel like we need to go take an odd job and continue to earn some more money. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell off some of these bottles of nectar um, that are poor quality because I think she's finally gotten up to the point where she's at normal quality. Um, so even though this is only lightly aged or some of them are not aged at all, I think um, all of those poor qualities, I'm just gonna sell them. Um, and like, so this one's normal and this one's normal. So we'll keep those and age those. And I wanna keep her like, I don't know if this was the first one she made, but like this grape, even though it's poor quality, it's the only grape one she has. So we'll keep that one and let it continue to age. But um, that made us 135. Uh, we, our goal is 500 at that point, but we'll get there soon. Looks like we're headed off to bed. It's been a long day, huh, Daisy Mae? So I'm just gonna get Daisy Mae to do some cleaning up around outside in the yard. It's been like raining nonstop for several days. I was kind of hoping that we would find a nicer day, but I guess that is just the fall weather here in, I wanna call it Ridgeport, but that sounds like Sims 3. Crest, Chestnut Ridge, there we go. So um, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup around the yard, get maybe some more junk removed. Um, we have a little bit of money, so that's always exciting. Ooh, that reminds me, I should probably breed some frogs. And yeah, I'll show you what she gets accomplished. Alrighty, so she got some good hard work done out here. We got the yard a little bit more cleaned up and we moved most of the flower beds, well, plant beds in here. Um, I moved her yoga mat over here. I thought that would be a cute little place for her to practice. Um, yeah, so I think the yard is looking a little cleaner, still cute and, you know, run down. I would like to, once we have more money, maybe like think about like restoring this little shed and putting her nectar making stuff in there. I also love to redo the outside exterior. Um, inside where we put most of our money is we redid the bathroom. So she had some pretty old, um, nasty looking uh, appliances in here. So we have brand new tile, it's this nice pastel yellow color, and yes, brand new fixtures and all that. So um, yeah, I think she is quite pleased with the progress on her little home renovation. So that is exciting. So I was noticing that her nectar making skill is going up so slowly. Like I feel like she's made several things of nectar and it still hasn't, she's still not level two. So I'm gonna see if there's a nectar making skill book because that might be a good way to <laughs> get her skill up a little faster because we've run through all of the apples and things that we have. So um, yeah, but I'm not, Unless I skipped it, I'm not seeing nectar. Yeah, it goes from L, M, skipped over, N, and then we have P. Oh, that's too bad. Which means I also bought this bookshelf for no reason. I mean, it's not the worst thing to have on hand. So I guess the only way we can really get her nectar skill up is <laughs> by purchasing more ingredients and going from there. I guess I'll buy some apples because she doesn't have enough skill to make anything else. Oh, prairie grass nectar? That does not sound appetizing. But you guys, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you're enjoying my Sims and Bloom series. Um, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get more romancing going on with any of our green plants. But um, next episode, I feel like for sure I'll ha just have to take the reins on this and uh, have Daisy May ask some of them out on dates and kind of see which of them we connect with the most. But until next time, happy simming.